Before December 10th, few experts considered Tunisia to be a nation on the verge of change. Protests there seemed to escalate very quickly, with President Ben Ali leaving the country on January 14th and an interim government, which includes opposition leaders, now in place. IRI's Vice President for Programs, Tom Garrett, visited Tunisia to see firsthand what was happening and talk to activists on taking, now taking on leadership positions in the government. Thanks for joining us, Tom. Can you begin a little bit by telling us what you saw in Tunisia and what was the mood of the people? I think for most Tunisians, the mood now is one of hope. Uh, the protests that took place over the month of December into January had several different uh, foundations. Some of it came from unemployed youth, others came from just uh, average citizens that were tired of government corruption. And I think all of them have different ideas and different hopes for the future that are going to have to be addressed now that Tunisians are taking on this difficult task of building a democracy. But I would say definitely there is this sense of quiet hope that uh, there is uh, a mood of optimism among the people. That's, that's good. Um, who were some of the people that you met with and what are they now focused on? Some of the people that we met with were reformers that IRI has some past history with. Uh, the government of President Ben Ali did not allow IRI to actually conduct activities within the country. We were not allowed to train Tunisians. Although we made many trips there, we are always told that was off limits. However, through the years, we did have opportunity to interact with Tunisian reformers in other countries. For instance, we took a group of young Tunisians to Serbia where they were trained in internet activism. And I was very excited to see some of those same young people from years ago were very involved in the changes that took place in their country. We made certain, though, while we were there to meet with uh, groups and people from the various uh, demographics of the country. So we met with youth and women who were interested in greater political participation. We met with members of the uh, interim government. We met with uh, folks that represented the religious community. As well, we uh, just met with uh, media, uh, business people. We have an assessment team actually there now who are continuing to hold these meetings with political parties, civil society, and interested actors. Now that there seems to be some, some opportunities, how might we help Tunisians as they build their democracy? IRI has been active in the Arab region, in the Mediterranean, North Africa for some years now. And we have learned what it takes to do programs that increase women's participation, youth participation in democracy. We've learned how to assist newly elected officials be more transparent and effective in their work. And we've also learned how to train people to do, for the first time, door-to-door -door campaigning in a democratic election. And I think based upon these programs that we've seen in places like Morocco, Iraq, Jordan, uh, we have a lot to offer the uh, democratic reformers in Tunisia. And I'm very happy to report that people were interested in learning uh, from mm -hmm. IRI. And so I'm looking forward to seeing a program of support to Tunisians begin hopefully within the next month. So that's, uh, that's very interesting. Well, thanks so much for just spending a little bit of your time with us and sharing your perspectives. Thank you.